That is unless, of course, Astroth has something to say, and he always does have something to say about it. Well, here we go. It, it's uh, the time for talk is ends now, and these two are going to get completely physical with each other. That's for sure. As wrong as that may sound. <laughs> and Astroth, look at this. Already going to the top rope. Oh, but well, that's the Moen drop right from the top rope. And Astroth already going for a cover. Don't tell me this is going to be over already. No, 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 no. No way, Sonic is not that weak. No way. And a look at Astroff here, in the early going, already being as dominant as he can, pounding away at Sonic on those ropes. But Sonic comes back. Oh, nice clothesline. Diving right into Astroff, and that's what you need to do. You need to dive Astroff, physically dive into Astroff, in order to knock him off his feet. Oh! Nice suplex slam by Astroth as he gets in a leg drop. This is with the second one though. Let's talk strategy, Eggman. What's the strategy for Sonic to win the YouTube title here tonight? Keep the arrogance level at a nice going pace. Maybe play some mind games with Astroth. And just bring it basically to Astroth. Oh, and so far he hasn't been doing a good job. And what's the Astroth strategy to win, retain the YouTube title here? He's just got to do what he's always been doing, and that's been kicking ass and taking names. That's only Astrof, that's what Astrof knows, and that's what Astrof can do. And if he does that tonight, then he's guaranteed to walk away with the championship. No questions asked. And a Sonic taking down Astrof again with that spinning DDT, and look at this arrogant cover, that's a bit of mind games for you, thinking he can pin Astrof with this, and again, with this very cocky cover. That's going to play some mind games, because Astroth was definitely looking up at Sonic at that point. Thinking, what the hell was this guy doing? And when you take Astroth's eyes off the ball, and make him think about something else, then he definitely can stay focused and bring that power game. He can make a lot of dumb mistakes. One. Oh, and that's not a dumb mistake, a power Two. bomb, and they're right on the outside of the, uh, Three. the ring here. And again, Four. look at this. Oh, the sit-down power Five. bomb. The Astroth has called the Astroth Bomb, completely Seven. devastating, and this should be over Eight. right now. If the referee gets to 10, it looks like Astroth's going to retain by count out 9 Eight. and 10. And wait a minute, the referee Eleven. is letting this count continue. Twelve. He wants this match to continue just as much. 13. Well, I, for once I agree with the referee. Let this match continue. Don't let Sonic get counted out. One of these guys has got to get pinned. That's, what, how, that's how you earn a championship. As Astroff may have proved himself to be YouTube champion for quite some time, but I'd still like to see him get a pinfall victory here. Or even to make Sonic tap out. Look at this. Oh, nice spine buster by Sonic. Amazing the uh, ability to pick up Astroff there with the weight he's at. And Sonic is no heavyweight, we should surely know that. Look at this. Oh, Sonic chucks Astroth outside the ropes and could be uh, copying Astroth's uh, sit-down power bomb One. on the outside. Two. Astroth reverses the Irish whip and brings him back into the ring. Uh, Sonic's chance to end this match has uh, failed, or at least for now. Oh, DDT on the outside and Sonic taking all the punishment. And when there's One. a move on the outside, that's fatal because you're not Two. in the protection of the ring. The ring is your haven when it comes to this kind of match, especially with between these two. Any move that Astroff surely does on the outside is going to have a huge Six. effect on you. Seven. If not a, a, a absolutely Eight. disastrous effect on you. Nine. And the referee again, counting up to ten, ten. will it make it pass? Yes it will. Eleven. And these two, uh, look, guess he's go just going to keep counting until to see when 13. these two are going to get back in. Fourteen. Sonic back in first. 15. And the referee's counted up to 15 until Astroff got back into the ring. Well, for once I'm thanking the ref for keeping this match alive. Obviously it would have been over already. This YouTube title match is very important. And neither is these two want to get counted out. They want to get a pinfall victory. Oh! And Astroff's going to go in the right way for doing that with that power bomb. Man, Astroff loves that power bomb, doesn't he? He's very good at them. He's a power bomb king. 
And look at this, this is uh, this is not what Astroff usually does, going to the top rope. Oh, and trying with that leg drop, I believe he tried that earlier. Astroff's not a high flyer and he never will be. I mean, look how big he is, for God's sake. Oh, he will be the, the bringer of clotheslines to legs, though. And that's not a bad strategy when it comes to Sonic. Take out his legs, then you take out the speed. That's what Sonic's got a lot of, which Astroff, as we know, can control very well. As that was the, uh, the fault that happened to him last time. He fell victim to the supersonic elbow. Sonic going to the top rope. And look out, ring could explode here. Boom! Luckily it doesn't. But that's a lot of force coming down there. Yeah, about 300 pounds. And whoa! And Sonic playing a bit of speedy mind games there again. And the clothesline right in the face. Astroff trying to fight back here, but Sonic is blocking all of his attempts here. Look out! Into the corner now. Oh! Sonic with a nice shot right in Astroff's jaw. Sonic has got to pound on everything that Astroff owns in order to get a pin here. Well. We shouldn't be talking really about that because Sonic has got a victory over Astroff as we mentioned and Astroff sending a bit of disrespect there for Sonic for himself playing a bit of mind games. That was not too bad. Another DDT but this time it was on the map. And Astroff says it's game over time. Look out here. Oh look at this. Oh this unique powerbomb pim that Astroff has. He puts all his weight after that powerbomb on you. Is Sonic going to kick out of this? Oh, he does! Right at the last minute, Sonic got out of that predicament as the referee's hand was coming down for the three. And that was a lucky fall by Sonic there. He managed to push Astroff off of him as badly as he could in order to not keep this match going and have a more chance to get the YouTube title under his belt. Does Sonic even have a belt? Let's not go there. And now Sonic, maybe looking for the finish himself. Oh, look at this! Rock bottom, rock bottom on Astroff. He's not going for the pin though. He's going for a second one. Astroff managed to counter that one though. Look out! Going for another power bomb perhaps. And Sonic again playing the speedy, speedy go around mind game. Didn't do an attack though to follow up with it. A mistake by Sonic, that he doesn't make money though. That's too right. He's going for the rock bottom again though. Didn't get it though this time. That's just, does not want to fall victim to what he already knows is very painful. Look at Sonic though, this is painful. A sharpshooter, submission hold, he could win the title by this. Is Astroff going to tap out? He needs to get to the ropes here. And that was really close. Sonic could have won the title there and then. And Astroff going back out to the ring. I don't. This is an odd characteristic by Astroff going outside the ring here. He's usually all over his opponent. And look at Sonic doing as an opportunity for more mind games, mocking Astroff. Oh, I guess he was looking for him, but Astroff knew who he was. Look out, he's going for another power on the outside. Oh! Ten. And the referee again with this lenient Eleven. count out. Twelve. Maybe he's counting to 20, who knows. Thirteen. He's up to 13 now, Fourteen. and Sonic has been laid out here. Referee Fifteen. could get to 20 at this rate. Sixteen. Sonic has been laid out on the outside by 17. that Astros bomb on the outside. Eighteen. Sonic's spine will never be the same again after this match, I've got a feeling. And look at Astroff charging right in as soon as Sonic got back into the ring and pounding away in the corner and now look at those huge feet right in the face. And uh, Astroff's feet are way bigger than Sonic's and they just got planted right in his face. 